way to say who you are without having to speak. This is a quote by Rachel Zoe, who is a well-known fashion stylist. Um, for example, when you see someone wearing a pair of Nikes, you assume they're into working out, they're into running, or something like that. When you see people, when you see someone wearing a pair of Christian Louboutins, you assume they have money and they're fashionable. This isn't just my opinion. Um, I've taken fashion classes and I read a lot of mag fashion magazines and fashion blogs and they all say the same thing, that the most important fashion item out there are shoes. Specifically for women, um, high heels and to be a little more specific, Christian Louboutins. Um, through a quick overview of what I have learned about fashion, I will explain why the fashion culture is important to myself and to society. Um, also today, I will be explaining how a pair of Christian Louboutins are important to the fashion culture as well as society and how I fit into the culture. Let's start about talking about how the fashion culture influences society. Um, especially shoes influence society in many ways, as I said. Let's start from the beginning. Shoes have been around for about 400,000 years. Um, in a place called Mesopotamia, they used to wear like like leather moccasin types, but they were nothing like how, like with, like the shoes we have right now. Um, and that was in 1600 to 1200 BC. And then let's fast forward a little bit to 1958 when Lemon Reed Blake invented the sewing machine um, to sew shoes. And then let's fast forward a little bit more to 1992. According to Forbes.com, Christian Louboutin, in 1992, Christian Louboutin made um, his first black heels with the red sole, which we have a picture of them right here. And these shoes went worldwide, and they were known worldwide, not only for being stylish and sophisticated, but also representing love and sex. Um, the fashion culture and shoes do a lot for people and the fashion world, but what do they do for me? My experience with fashion, as I said, I've taken, I've gone to sewing school, I've taken a fashion merchandising class here at Cal State LA, and again, I read a lot of blogs and ma fashion magazines. But, and with everything that I have read, it still, everything that I'm still learning, they all come back to shoes, and especially heels for women, and for some men out there. Um, for example, um, because I'm a girl, I can relate to girls, so guys, this is not an example for you guys, but um, for our high school homecoming or high school prom, you guys found the perfect dress. But then, after you guys had that dress, what was missing? The perfect shoes, right? So, you guys, t and not any like black heels will do because, I mean, you have to look your best. Hold on to that thought. And then, um, to me, shoes represent more than what they are used for. Shoes represent my, fa my passion for fashion and also progress. For my homecoming, I wore some shoes from Forever 21. For my prom, I wore some, I wore some shoes from H&M. And as I said, it, it means progress because the day I get to spend $700 on a pair of these shoes, it's gonna be a stepping stone in my life. I'm gonna be really happy. Because it means, I mean, I'm going from a young, like a teenager to a young woman. Um, and then for the guys in this room, you guys are thinking, why would a girl spend $700 on a pair of these shoes? But it's just more, it's more than just a pair of heels. These shoes, these shoes can even get you hired. Let's say you have a you have an interview at this very high classy place, the high classy office. You're not gonna go with any pair of shoes, not any like worn out, ugly, dirty shoes. No, you're gonna wanna look good. And a way by looking good is wearing some expensive heels. In conclusion, hopefully now you all understand how important shoes, especially some Louboutins, are important to society, the fashion culture, and myself. Today I explained how shoes are not just shoes. Shoes protect our feet, but there's so much more. They can make an outfit complete or even get you hired, as I said. The fashion culture 
wouldn't be anywhere without new and original ideas like the one Christian Louboutin had with a red slip, which are, it's pretty original. Next time you go buy a pair of shoes, think to yourself, are these fashionable? Do these shoes really represent who I'm trying to, who I am or who I'm trying to be? And with those two questions, you guys will make the perfect choice to show the world who you are. Thank you.